This is Darren with GuitarControl.com bringing you this video lesson and today I've got three uh, fun and easy riffs for you from Molly Hatchet. Right now Guitar Control is giving away a really cool chord chart. It's free to download. There's a link down in the description. Uh, it's in PDF format and it's really well organized. It has every chord that you could ever need at a glance. A really useful tool. You can print it off, hang it on your wall, throw it in your gig bag, you know, whatever. You always have it right there where you need it. So be sure to click on the link in the description for the tabs, and let's get close up and take a look at these. Alright, so the very first one we're going to look at is a riff from Flirtin' with Disaster. Okay, this has got like a real kind of boogie uh, feel to it. So, uh, so we're going to start off, we're just going to take our first finger, we're just going to bar it across the second fret of the D, G, uh, the D and the G string, and then the A string is open. So we're going to hit the A and the, the D together for the downbeat of one. One, and then on the end of one, we hit just the open A string. But we want to try to palm mute, palm mute that. So, And then on the downbeat of two, we're going to take our third finger, and we're going to reach up and grab the fourth fret of the D string. And then on the end of two, back to the open A string, trying to palm mute it again. So. Then on the downbeat of uh, three, whoops, it's the second fret of the G string. And then on the end of three, it's that fourth fret of the D string again, so. Okay, and then on the downbeat of four, we rest. And then on the end of four, it's the A5 again. So that's kind of the feel for the whole thing. Then when we start this again on the end of four, it's kind of like starting the riff over again. So. Then we go to a G5, so we're going to come up, first finger on the third fret of the low E, second finger on the fifth fret of the, uh, the A string. And we're going to hit this on the and of four, and then it's tied to the downbeat of one, and we're going to try to do that same, uh, that same kind of rhythm. So we're going to go, now instead of the, we hit the whole chord, and then we're going to hit the, uh, just the third fret of the low E, but palm muted. Now we're going to take our pinky and reach up and grab the seventh fret of the, uh, of the A string, and then uh, back to the third fret of the low E. So. To the fifth fret of the A string, back to the seventh fret, and then it goes back to the A riff again. So. So the next one we're going to look at is Dreams I'll Never See. Uh, this one is really, really simple. So we're going to start off. You're going to put your second finger onto the fifth fret of the A string, your third finger on the fifth fret of the D string, and your first finger onto the fourth fret of the D string. So we start off, we hit the A, and all of this we're just playing the A and the D string only. So we're going to hit this. And this is like one, and then we're going to palm mute and hit just the A string as two sixteenth notes. So it's like one E. So 
So we hit the one, two, three, four. So we've got what we're here on the both on the fifth fret. And then we're gonna take our third finger off, so now it's the uh, this uh, D major diad we got there, and then here we just got a uh, uh, <clears throat> be a G5 over um, D and then D major. So. That one's like really, really simple. It's like, and it's really, really repetitive. It's like a lot of, like a massive part of the song is just that. All right, and then the last one we're gonna look at is the riff from uh, Bounty Hunter. So this one is entirely made up of, uh, of eighth notes, except for um, one part towards the end. So this here, we're, we're pedaling the open A string. So when we play these notes, we're gonna be palm muting. So we're on, and we have to skip over a string on this one. So a little more challenging in that aspect. We're, we're pedaling the A string and then we're playing notes on the G string. So we've got one and two. Second fret of the G string is, is the downbeat of two. And then on the end of two, we come back to the, this, to the open A string again. Then the open G string, two more pedals. Back to the second fret. Two pedals, fourth fret, two pedals, second fret, twice. So that's the first two measures, like half of the riff. All right, so then for the second half, starts off the same way. So the third measure is the same as the first. Now to the fourth fret, back to the second fret. Now this one is on the and of two, but it's tied to the downbeat of three. So it's like and three, and. Now on the and of three, we're gonna hit the open low E, and to the second fret, four to the third fret, and. And that's like the pickup notes to start it over again. So there you have it, three fun and easy riffs from Molly Hatchet. So if you like this lesson, be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have any questions about this or other guitar-related topics. If you've not already done so, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the content that we upload throughout the week. Well, that is all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and have a great day.